All right, hey guys, it's Gangsboy10 here with my uh, best friend. Uh, you can see his arm. <laughs> uh, there you go. Anyways, you know him, Canadian Camel from Youth Nation. Uh, not yeah. my tribe, but anyways, basically I'm getting him in this video because, well, there's like a headphone. We're gonna tell you basically what headphones to buy, like to, so you save your money and, and like instead of wasting your money on buying a pair of headphones, and then they turn out to be crap. But um, <clears throat> because we both make music, we both have a lot of pair of headphones. The first thing I just want to say was, <clears throat> well. I'm not going to talk about these ones much because, well, you already know what the Headrush Line Fusion. And of course, what we'll rate all these headphones that we have, but uh, we'll do that in a second. But, <clears throat> geez. Oh, I got a new pair of headphones. Yeah, I guess I should say that. I don't know if I showed anyone these Sennheisers. And then I got my Beats Studios, which you can see the box back there, along with my Beats Pros. But, um, see, he had Beats Pro as well, but yeah. <clears throat> sold them. And we'll talk about it in a second. But, uh, first thing I'll show you is I got. Um, I don't even know the full name, I just know they're ear pollution toxic or something like that, I don't know. Basically, I, they're good, but I mean, I don't like how they're, they fold like crazy. But I do like how, I mean, I don't know, I guess they're cheaply built, but, and the problem is when you put them on your head, because they're so cheaply built that they don't stick to your head at all, they're like, it's kind of like this sitting on your head. And then you have to push them to your head to hear the music. Good. If you do so, if you push them to your head, they uh, pound pretty hard for like dubstep stuff like that because because they're they're smaller drivers, but they <clears throat> backed up a lot with bass. That being said, they don't have much as much treble and stuff as opposed to like any of these, any of these actually. But um, so basically, well, I don't mean I use them sometimes, but I got them for free when I bought my electronic drum set. So the guy just gave them to me. So I was like, oh, whatever, I'll take them. It's a pair of headphones. Um, I don't even know how much it costs. I think it's like twenty some dollars or thirty some bucks, but pretty good price. Boy. For that price, yeah, I'd give them a. I mean, other than the fact they have to hold them on your head, if you actually hold them on your head though, for that price, I'd give them seven point five. They are actually really good. They pound hard. Yeah. They lack kind of the mids, but. <clears throat> um, plus, oh, those are on here too. Plus, okay, well, I won't even really talk about these much, but Headrush Line Fusion forty nine dollars, or you can buy them on sale for twenty four dollars, which I have and. A lot of people that I see on my other video, I talked about these, they bought them for that price. But uh, they fold like this, they're kind of bulky I guess you could say, but but uh, they're comfortable. I fold them for like three hours straight, non-stop, never took them off or anything. And uh, I was still comfortable. And uh, well, the one thing I'll say about these headphones, they're amazing, that's for sure. And for that price of $24, or 40, even for 49 I'd give them, I've only came across one better pair of headphones, so I'll give them a 9 for sure. I mean, especially for the price range. Yeah, of course, if you buy like five hundred dollar bad ones, they're gonna be better. But not buying, not buying that much money. <clears throat> James, you want to say something about your head rush? Okay. Because I was supposed to review the head rush noise reduction uh, orange, whatever. I don't even think they have a name. They're just noise yeah. canceling, but they're battery powered. So. Uh, I heard that <clears throat> Aaron was telling me about the purple headphones. They someone was saying that they you could take the cord out. You can't. It's the orange get, one. Get that over and down with you. Yeah. yeah. Orange ones are the ones. Uh, just they're they're good bass. They cancel out everything. The trebles are good. Everything about it's good. Except speaking with the cord. Yeah, the cord. I bought two of them. Both times broke. So that plus the price, it was like one. It's sixty nine regular, but you yeah. can buy the ones here for thirty four bucks. Yeah, thirty four bucks, <clears throat> and uh, that price, I would say eight point five because cord. Yeah. Yeah, the cord. Well, it's because it's like a. I don't know how to explain it. It's not a let. Uh, uh, okay, I can't swear. Uh, rubbery kind of texture cord. It's like a ropey one. You know what I mean? Yeah, they like call a, the they call the amp cords that are made out of that material toaster cables. Yeah. I guess that toaster is like a lace of, almost. Yeah, yeah, like a lace. But and then uh, <clears throat> I actually bought these. I kind of regret buying them. This is what he, James uses when we're recording our music right at the moment. Um, they're the Sennheiser's HD HD two hundred five. I mean, I should have just stepped up and <clears throat> paid the extra money to buy the four, four hundred something. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not much of a Sennheiser fan, but like uh, I'll talk about a little bit about them. I don't know. It's weird how they only go like this on the one side. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. Um, I guess. Oh my God! I guess they think a lot of people are gonna use that side and right hand side. DJ. I guess. Yeah, it is for DJ and monitoring. But it's like I. I mean, I always ch flip up the left ear, but I can't with these. They're built pretty good. They're comfortable. They're on ear though. They're not quite over. I mean, like depending on what your ear size is. 
But, um, I mean, they said they were going to have a lots of bass, but I really didn't find any bass. I mean, they're, it's there, but it doesn't pound as hard as Head Rush or Beats by, for example. And they're, they're really good travels, and they are really clear. But I paid... They're on sale, the regular 99 I paid $69 for them. Kind of wish I could return them, just because I don't need them, but, um... I definitely recommend them if you're looking for a cheap uh, studio pair of headphones. At a, I mean, for the price and everything, I'd give them a... 7.5, I guess. Kind of pricey, 100 bucks for these. And I don't know, that's just my opinion. I guess people, different people have different opinions. They come with a cool little bag. Oh, but they can't fold worth the crap, so it's kind of a downfall. And then I'll say the last two, my Beats Pro and then the Beats Studio. And yes, these are real. I don't know, you can bash me, try to say they're fake if you want. But you can actually see his face. Yeah, they're you real. The, you can see the whole left side of his face. That's the main thing. People are like, oh, you can't see this one. So... I don't know, it's a beauty, whatever, look at it all you want. <clears throat> but, um, alright, well, the Beats Pro, I talked about it in the other video, and I was had a, I was all like, oh man, they're really good and everything, and whatever, and I was like, the head rush is still almost as good. Well, I still like them, they look cool, they're built really good, that's for sure. They're built good, the cords, me and him both had problems with, yeah. but, mm, alright, you can try to say these are fake like some people did, but they're not, so, whatever. <clears throat> but, um, I don't know, in my opinion, <clears throat> it's not as much bass as they say. But then again, people say you have to use zooms and stuff with them to, I guess, for, or a headphone amp to power them because they are big drivers. I think 40 millimeter drivers and stuff. But, anyways, yeah, so I had a white, this white pair, I still do. I'm trying to sell them. Um, he had a black pair and he did sell his. Yeah. I don't know what else much to say, but the, the guy. Broke it. The guy broke it and then he wanted his money back, but the battery's getting low on the camera. But anyway, so I guess I'll just say, skip to the rating. For, well, for $450, or $400 at Best Buy or whatever, uh, that's so much money. Uh, I'm disappointed, kind of. To be, I mean, they're great trebles and highs, but the bass takes so much power them. Plus the cord. <clears throat> Plus the cord, yeah. I'll give them an 8. I'll lower mine 7. He gives his a seven because he had them, so he can yeah. rate too. <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> now, <clears throat> the studios, on the other hand, are so much better. Um, and man, they're just they just blow away the pros, in my opinion. Got the cord, and the monster. I got the talk and whatever, which is handy too. Uh, and then you got, I got white again <clears throat> because, well, white's like my favorite color for headphones. Matched my iPod, my phone, and everything. Beats by Dr. Dre. Uh, you got your little on button. Batteries are getting low. Anyways, there you go. You got a mute button function over here. And you twist all this, you put the batteries in. Basically, they have so much bass. Oh, and there's another problem with the pros. <laughs> if you drop them, here's what you got to protect them. Yeah, that's real. A lot of protection compared to this. A hard shell case with a thing you can clip on your well, pants, even, but backpack and stuff. Got a little pouch in here where you can put your stuff. And I'm pulling it out. Anyways, yeah, so these have so much more base, and I would recommend for anyone, <clears throat> I mean, even with my computer, the pros aren't as good as the studios, but to me, I'd recommend studios over pros any day. Just because, I don't know, it's just me. Because I find them better, so yeah, and the cheaper noise too. Canceling, putting over your head, yeah, you yeah, just hear oh, yeah. They can't. These are actual <clears throat> active noise canceling, whereas the pros are just passive. They don't even. They, they only cancel whatever because of the music and whatever they're on your head. But yeah, these are so much better for sure. Comfortable, light. I can actually wear these around my neck and not feel like I'm being strangled by someone. Whereas these pros, like, look at them. They just. I don't know. And as for these price, they're still pricey, three hundred dollars or three hundred fifty, whatever. I'd recommend them at nine point five. Nine point five. They're the best headphones I've ever used. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I know there's some really good like Sennheisers or Grottos and stuff like that that are better, but they're like a grand. I wouldn't pay a thousand dollars for a pair of headphones. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so basically, um, I'd suggest if you're looking for cheap headphones. 
head rush and we can both speak on their behalf they're really amazing you pick those up at source if you're looking to spend more money stay away from the pros and anything i mean you could buy the in-ear beats those are pretty good too but if you want over the ear i'd buy studios any day and for monitoring i'd I, if you're looking to spend money for monitoring headphones i would get sennheiser audio technica but once again you if you want to get good ones you actually have to spend the money so i mean for the longest time we used head rush to monitor until we had our beats and then we're gonna be back to head rush and beats probably like we switch between them anyways yeah <clears throat> But yeah, that's the end of this video, and I know it was a little long, but I hope you guys enjoyed. So, just a recap. Um, I don't know, 7 or 7.5 on these. 9 on the Head Rush Line Fusions. Picking up the sores. These beats, 7.5 or 8, just because they're so expensive and they take so much. Sennheiser's about 8, 7.5 or 8. And then 9.5 for the beautiful studios and 8.5 for the orange noise canceling and i will get the headphones so you guys can we have can do review. an actual in-depth review of the head brush orange can noise canceling headphones thanks for watching guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you have any other uh suggestions if you want us to review anything i also have um like i play guitar so if there's any guitar reviews like i mean amps or anything like that i can do that probably or if you want to know how to videos, we make music. So if you have any questions about Mixcraft, Ableton, or FL Studio. Well, I'm not really good at FL Studio, so scratch that. But if you have any questions about that type of stuff, just message me and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh my god, it's pink camo.